Now, to explain the basic implementation of linked list using pointers and how it can be compared with real life situation, we will take an example. Here, your class teacher wants to take 8 students of your class to a movie show and you are one of them. After purchasing the tickets, two cases are possible. First case, all of the 8 students will get seats next to each other, that is, continuously in a single row. So your teacher will not be burdened to remember seat number of each and every student. She can only remember seat number of first student and then while taking them back to school, she will identify seat number of first student and then next 7 seats from there. In second case, obtained seats are in complete random order. So here our teacher cannot follow the same methodology and neither remembering seat number of every student is feasible. So our teacher uses the concept of pointers and forms a linked list of students where each student will point to seat number of next student. That is, teacher will only remember seat number of first student. First student will remember seat number of second student. Second student will remember seat number of third student and so on. Now, while taking them back to school, teacher will approach first student. First student will give address of second student. Second student will give address of third student and hence teacher can reach to the 8th student. Hence, we have learned implementing linked list using pointers and a real life case study of it. Thank you.